This video has been sponsored by Adobe. Today, I'm gonna be making some really weird consoles with AI, and I'm actually gonna get one made into a physical thing, so stay tuned to the end of the video to see that. Portable gaming handheld removable controllers. Will it just generate a Nintendo Switch? What? Look at this, it's, it's product photos ready to go. <laughs> look at that. I mean, if you had told me that a company was bringing that out, I mean, look at that. It's even generated the controllers. AI is mental. Now, this is a web application called Adobe Firefly, and it's free to use. You can use it 25 times every single month. You don't even have to install any software. It's just done online. They do now have it built into their existing software as well. One really cool thing about Adobe Firefly is that all of the material it uses to generate these images is ethically sourced. It either uses their own Adobe stock images, or it uses public domain content and openly licensed content, which makes this safe for commercial use. Okay, look, I just added in 8-bit, and look at these little things. That looks like a weird Nintendo Switch case or something like that, but how cute are these? It's like kind of retro pixel art. There are so many features of Adobe Firefly and there's even more in things like Photoshop, but on the website you have text to image, which is hilarious. You have generative fill and then you've got text effects, which is just a really interesting, unique thing. Okay, so let's have a look at the most fun feature of this AI Adobe Firefly software. Let's, oh my God, that looks... <laughs> <laughs> that looks a little bit dodgy. Wait, just give me a chance. Well, of course, we must see what a Game Boy looks like with robotic arms. Well, I think we can all agree that looks terrible. Let's click the more button and generate another one. The self-playing Game Boy. <laughs> Look at that. That actually looks kind of cool. Right, let's, let's actually just try right here computer keyboard. Well, there we go. I mean, look at that. That's what a Game Boy looks like with a bunch more buttons. Let's try piano. The piano Game Boy. Mozart's favorite. Right, I've got a stupid idea and I just have to try it. Let's see what happens if we go up here and write mouth. <laughs> oh my god. Good grief. And look, the fact that it's green as well. <laughs> okay, it's time to give the Nintendo DS a try. Let's just go straight in with giving this thing a third screen. Will it work? Computer screen with white border and speakers. Oh, yeah. Okay, so this one's just got a Pokedex glued to the top of it. This one's kind of onto something, but I don't know why it's like so three-dimensional here. Okay, let's do some crazy stuff with a Nintendo Switch. Ah! Oh, <laughs> I am not proud of that. <laughs> I'm curious to see if AI knows what ergonomic is, because what's ergonomic to AI? Let's try uh, ergonomic grip. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, that looks quite quite ergonomic, doesn't it? You know what? That one doesn't look, look, look too bad. It's kind of turned into like a... Giving like a frying pan vibe now. The Nintendo Switch <laughs> frying pan. <laughs> How has it done that so well? That actually has worked. Okay, I think it's time to try and modify the dual screen Game Boy that I made and add a third screen. Go, go, gadget, extendable third screen on the dual screen Game Boy. Let's go back to text to image and let's try and get this thing to make a Nintendo Switch. Okay, black LCD screen with two controllers on either side. Handheld gaming. Ah, okay. So it hasn't attached the controllers. Okay, attached to either side. It's just like <laughs> attached it with these two little arms. <laughs> I mean, you can see how capable this is. I mean, these are pretty crazy and the plastic is just so real. The Nintendo Switch is too complicated. Let's go for the Game Boy Advance SP. Folding handheld gaming device with screen on top and buttons on bottom. Wow, I mean, that is way too advanced for what I wanted, but gee whiz, I mean, that looks like an actual thing. That looks like something that the, the CIA would use for like a drone strike. This one looking like some sort of boat navigation device. That looks like a, a crazy laser jet printer of some description. That looks like it could mount an arm, like a futuristic power glove. Okay, so obviously these are just some fun different ways to use Firefly, but to show its actual real world potential, here's the dual screen Game Boy. If I select the top screen and remove it, the top screen will just disappear and it will just fill in the background appropriately. I can also then select my shoddy wiring and boom, look at that. It's almost normal again. I can even remove the picture from the background. Another more complicated one is removing the Game Boy looking cassette player from this photo. And we'll even just have a floating cassette in the background. 
or there's this brilliant button that literally just removes the background and makes the whole image transparent. And then you could use the generative fill to add a background. And then if I wanted to get rid of the word switch, I'll just select it and click remove and look at that. It's just seamless. And one final challenge. Here's a PSP that I'm holding. Let's make it look like it's floating by removing my hand. I mean, look at that. So the final thing I wanted to do with Adobe Firefly is design a Game Boy shell using the AI software and then get my friends over at Retro Modding to actually print off the shell so that we have it in real life. So let's go ahead and design a Game Boy. I'm going to be using this one here that my friend Stuart made me for my birthday. So what I think would be cool is if we just do a bunch of little sort of random designs all over the Game Boy. So right here, we're going to go for yellow star. Let's see what happens. Oh, okay. That's a really cute little yellow star let's try a little stick person and let's go for robot man what on earth is it gonna come up with oh <laughs> wait no that's actually really cute i feel like that one yes okay we're off to a good start now what else would you want on a game boy other than a fish yes Look at that fish. And what would a Game Boy be without a small cat? Specifically, a small cat. We're off to a great start. This Game Boy looks fantastic. Okay, what is that? That is actually a tiny cat. <laughs> Let's just go for cat and see what happens. No! What is that? There's a little cat peeking out of the hot... Oh, my days. Let's just try the exact same prompt. It's probably not going to do it now. Oh, my God. That's hilarious. It's like there's a little cat inside the Game Boy just peeking out. Out. Wait, why have we got another fish? Okay, here's a cat. That's a cool cat. Wait, I I want that cat. Oh, there's a little cat. Should we roll the dice on that again? Yeah, I feel like we should. Wait a minute. Okay, that one's kind of funny. <laughs> right, I think what I want to try and do here is see what happens if you write the word hello. Wait a minute. What the heck is that? Okay, that's kind of creepy. I actually quite like that. Cellul. Yeah, we're just going to keep that there. Okay, right here, we're going to try Planet Earth. <gasps> Yo, that's sick. Wait, which one do we want? I think we want that one. Right here, we're going to go for Spaceship Rocket. Let's try Let's try Spaceship Rocket. Let's see what it puts in here. I'm really liking where this is going. I love how that's copied the text font. That's actually mental. All right, we've got a little rocket. Which one do I like the most? Oh, I feel like that one's the one. Okay, I think we've got space for a couple more things. And what else would you want on your Game Boy right above your buttons other than an egg? Everybody would want an egg, surely. Just the egg yolk. I love that. Right, we've got another space here. What should we put right here? I think, I think we should put human eye. Oh, what is that? It's another egg. <laughs> what is that? It's like someone's someone's lips and teeth. I hate that. Let's click more. Wait a minute. Who the hell is this guy? <laughs> oh, he's got a state. What else can we put on here? I don't know. Let's maybe try a little thing here. Let's go for 90s retro gaming. Let's just see what happens. Wait a minute. We've got another fish. I kind of like that fish. This is looking like the back of my school book when I was a kid. Okay, let's try another thing here. Let's go for let's go for dog poking its head through. Okay, it's a completely different style. It's literally like, oh no. I think there's opportunity right here to put in a potato. It's another like hidden in shell potato. Do you know what? I'm proud of that. I'm proud of that. I feel as though we have achieved some fantastic things. Japanese text. Oh, that would be cool. Yes, that's sick. Okay, we have space for one more thing. And what I want it to be is the British flag. <laughs> Woohoo! Okay, we've got to go for that one. There we have it. Look at that. It's an absolute abomination. Let's get retro modding to actually make this a real thing. My friends over at retro modding got to work printing this shell. And a few days later, a box arrived. I grabbed an old Game Boy and I got to work building this really cool AI generated Game Boy. There's a dedicated video on the second channel if you want to watch that. But let's take a look at it. Here it is. The AI Game Boy. It's a real thing. I have it in my hands. Look at that. I am so pleased with how it's turned out.
I love that it actually looks like some of the Game Boys that I've restored on my channel over the years, where people have kind of just placed a bunch of stickers all over it, except these are actually printed on using Retromodding's incredible fancy printers, and they've helped me with loads of the custom Game Boys I've made over the years. This is sick. So let's chuck a quick game in and take a look at the beautiful screen. This is obviously fully modded with an IPS display. And just look at how good it looks, and if you press this little button on the side, you can scroll through all of the different color palettes which is just so damn cool this green one looks pretty sick and there we have it it's all nice and clean as well obviously all the buttons have been cleaned up so that they'll be working for many many years to come i am just so so happy with how this turned out i think it's so cool to have a game boy that is just this unique there we have it the ai generated game boy make sure you send me a photo of anything that you generate using adobe firefly and tweet it to me my twitter is at elliot cole i'm going to be picking three winners to get a year's worth of Adobe Firefly for free. That's an insane deal. Make sure you tweet me your photos. Thank you very much for watching this video and a massive thank you to Adobe for sponsoring it. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.